Hey, what's up guys? Inside this box here is an early Christmas present from my good friend, Uncle Rob. So we're going to open it up and have a look inside today. So this is as far as I got without you. We'll go from here. We'll go together from here on in. So, what do we got? Solder station and SMD rework. Cool. Uh-huh. Yeah. Okay. No English translation there. Oh, a card. One moment. Yep, very nice Christmas card from our friend Uncle Rob. I'm not going to tell you what it said. What's in the box? What's in the box? What's in the box? All right, first piece coming out here. Yeah. Get my Monday morning fingers working. As our iron holder. An IEC cable. Oh, this must be the um, the holder for the hot air gun. Tips for the hot air gun. Very cool. I know you guys are like, let's see the thing. We're getting there. We're getting there. Calm yourselves. Calm it there. Calm it there. All right, so here's the iron. Excellent. This is the same type of iron and the same type of tips my other stuff uses with a little DIN connector. And here's our hot air gun. Very cool. We're running out of room on the desk, so let me move this out, which is extremely light. Clean up some of the stuff we got laying around here. Have a little bit more room to work. I, I know you're all disappointed I'm not using a chainsaw to open this. <laughs> wow, that is really, really light. All right, so here it is. The Sum Sour 8586 Solder and Rework Station Digital. 110 volts, 700 watts. Clickety switch. Okay. Now let's get it set up. All right, I figure while I'm setting up the soldering iron, we can take a look at this. So it looks like it comes from Atten Instruments as the original thermo control digital display anti static solder rework, solder station, and SMD rework. So let's see what it has to say about it. Got a little exploded diagram here of the uh, hot air thing. Product characteristics, multifunctional integrated desoldering main. Wow, that's a lot of words. Okay. Front panel diagram. I'm not going to go over all these. You guys can pause this and take a look at it if you want. I'm just going over this quickly. So it looks like the rework station is working right off of the mains there. 220 volt. Whereas the solder, well, it'll be 110, 115, well, 123 here. But uh, in the soldering station, while it remains AC, 
is on uh, 26 volts. So we'll see what's going on when we open it up. Oh wow, that's the that's the entire manual. Okay. I hope the other me's got the uh, soldering station put together. Well, as you can see, I still haven't gotten it together. So I figured we'd just go ahead and oh, see what's inside. That's not going to do it. I'm going to need something with a little more meat to it. No. No, holy cow, these are all stripping. One minute. All right, I had to get a uh, little flat blade to fit the holes and slap it in there and crack them things because, man, they were tight. Kudos to uh, <clears throat> whoever worked the assembly line that day. You did a heck of a job. So what do you expect to see in here? I can tell you from the weight, there's not going to be a huge transformer. Huh. No, one screw there may need to come out. Yep. That was a definite. Uh oh. And, uh, I can't believe I missed one. <laughs> What's going on? There we go. Okay, so there ain't much going on in here. Let's bring you in closer here. So we got two boards. This be your power supply board, and it's connected through a five-pin header on this side. <clears throat> Excuse me, and a two-pin header over here. I'm trying to read what that says there. So I can get you in close enough and we can both read it KSD 8586DP and there you can see some of the chips but like I said there's just there's not a whole lot going on well look at this there does appear to be a serial connection here. Reset, 5 volt ground data and clock. And is there another one down below? There is. So probably one for the uh, soldering station and one for the rework station. Very cool. What is that? Let me figure out what that chip is. Okay. So this I see here that I was trying to figure out because it's located so closely to the uh, power input. 
turns out is the MOC 3031M from On Semiconductor. It is a triac driver. So basically, they're running this <laughs> like a dimmer. Nothing wrong with that. Interesting. All right, so I got it all put together now. The, my only complaint about the construction of the thing is this iron holder. You know, it should mount to the base like this holder for the hot air gun does. All right, so I'm going to turn on the main power in the back. Dash, dash, one. Oh, there we go. Relatively quiet. Oh, it's getting hot now. But it doesn't seem to have the uh, automatic shutoff when you put it in the handle, so that's the thing. All right, let's wait for that to cool down, and we'll come back. All right, let's have a look at the soldering end of things. 350. Looks like it's heating up, I guess. We'll let that heat up and check out in a minute. All right, that took a couple minutes to get there. Now, I don't want it at 380. This, I believe, is for the rework station, so I think we need to use this one. Take it down. 48, oh. 350, set. That's where I want it. 395, 410. Uh, I'm really confused. I guess it's going down now. I guess we have to let it sit for another minute. Okay. The temperature really seems to be jumping around. I let it sit for a minute or so, and it was down to 350. Now it's back to 375. Let me get some solder here. We'll get some flux. And we'll see if we can't tin that iron. See, it's back to 350. I'm dipping it in flux. Then clean it. Tin it. Clean it, dip it, clean it, tin it. Do that like four or five times until the tip of the iron just sucks that solder right on there. Just like that. Now that baby's tin and we're ready to go. So let me get my solder goo out of there. And adjust the camera a little bit. I have a donor board here for us to play with. We're just going to solder onto that pad there. Let me, uh, the old, the old zoom in. Like, I have no doubt. That this is going to work just fine. But you know, you got to demonstrate it. That's what we're here for, right? Alright, so. Yeah. Works great. No worries at all. 
So now that I'm done soldering, I clean the iron. Just going to tin it one more time. And then I shut the soldering iron off and leave the hot tin. I like to let it hang down a little bit on the end of the iron like that. That will end up protecting the tip of the iron and keeping it from oxidizing. All right. So we got a few SMD devices on here. Let's uh, fire up the SMD side here. Three fifty. Now this should adjust the temperature here. All right, we'll let that get hot. You gotta be careful what you're pointing this at. You don't want them to start melting things. It came with three different tips. This is the smallest one that I put on. Okay, that was interesting. Why did it do that? Why does it say off? See, uh, turn it off, turn it back on. There we go. Okay, she's getting hot now. Let me adjust the camera here. Let's see if we can get this diode off here. It's not budging yet. There we go. Now I'm going to turn up the heat a little bit. Or is that the fan? That's the fan speed. All right, so now I think I can. I'm going to take this up to 380. Okay, now I understand. There's a couple of tiny little SMD components there. Let's see if we can't get them off. Are they actually there? Yeah. Yep. They just peeled right off, no problem. So yeah, let's wait for the fan to shut off. Okay, so the Sumsauer 8586, pretty cool. Little solder rework station. Um, here are the uh, codes that are, can be displayed up here. This one, dash dash one, means the air station does not start that the heating cord is off. SLP means the rework station is in waiting mode. Dash dash two means the soldering station does not start. SE means there's something wrong with the sensor of the channel. And HE means the heating system is damaged. So those are your codes. I'd like to thank Uncle Rob for sending this out as a very early Christmas present. I certainly appreciate it. I'd like to thank you guys for watching and thank the patrons. That's it. I'm out. Peace.